Okay, so now we're going to get into the realm of web design and uh, at, well, a little bit of administration. We're going to work with a server-side script to help our boys here. We're here with Jimmy and Hello. Tim behind the camera and Aaron, our seniors, who aced the written Nocties, by the way. I'm so proud of these boys. They did a great job. Tomorrow is the performance Nocti, which are national standards. All of our seniors every year, they have to go through these national standardized tests for the content area that we teach here. I um, we can sleep through it. I think you're going to do fine. One of the questions that we had was, they're going to have to build a form in Dreamweaver and then validate and use that form. So we thought, well, we found out that they actually have access to the internet. So I thought... Let's go ahead and get a PHP form, uh, a response form, put it up on our DMT server, and see if we can activate that and access it through the form, or through the form function on uh, Dreamweaver. So um, I'm not going to go and build an entire form here, but I just wanted to show the boys here where they go to get the form uh, to send the data from their Dreamweaver form to the PHP script that's residing on our server and then how the script works generally and bouncing back the information and sending, if you were the website administrator, would be sending you an actual email. Now what we did, I worked with Chris Fair in the afternoon. She sent me the script. She customized the script to send the form content via email to her email. So um, that what I'll do tomorrow is uh, for the test, I'll have to give the, the uh, um, I'll have to give the uh, uh, judges access to be able to check that so they can make sure that you got the, the, that the email went through. So when they say validate your form, you can fill out, you press a button, they can validate that the, it, it was actually sent to the teacher email. So, but for right now, I'm just going to show you how it works set up with here. And uh, just a simple, um, a simple name field. So what I did, Tim, zoom in here. I just set up a basic form and set in a real simple, there's email, there's name. Let's go and let's add another... Uh, another field here. You guys know how to use the form function to build the form. That's that's pretty easy. Uh, text area, let's say about you. Let's say we want to tell us a little about yourself. Okay, and then what we now here's what you do. How you how you make this go? is you need to select the entire form and edit the form tag in Dreamweaver. There is where you're going to put the location of the script. So what's happening here, you got Dreamweaver, you're building your web page, it's going to be sitting on your server, a user is going to go in, enter information into your form, when they press that submit button, it's going to pass that information to a PHP server-side script that's running over on the server. The information passes over to the PHP script. The script does its thing running in the background. Then it generates a report according to how you've customized the script. Sends the information back to the user if you have it programmed as such to a landing page, for instance, that might say, thank you for your submission, we'll be in touch with you, something like that. And then it would copy and send out to the appropriate parties to whoever's email that you have in there. So this is a real basic function of a server script running. So what, how do you how do you get it in there? First thing you need to do is upload the script, which I've already done for the guys. They're not going to have to do this for the Nocti tomorrow. So but I just wanted you to understand the basics of how this works. And through the rest of uh, the school year here, maybe we can practice this a little bit and have some fun with it. Like, like you know, scripts are fun or something. I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> it depends on what they're yeah, Okay, Aaron. Okay. Maybe in your world, I'd rather be doing special effects with After Effects myself. <laughs> but this is part of web design. So here's what we got. You got to go ahead and you got to click the form tag here. We're going to edit the tag. Now, what we did, you can see down here, the action is post. So we're telling the form when they click the submit button to post the information to this location. Where did I get that location? You can see it's dmtstudio.net, scripts, send results, PHP. Okay? Now, let's take a look at my FTP program. And FTP stands for what, boys? Bob Transport Protocol. Very good. So, what I did was I took the script that Krista customized. She emailed the script to me. And I uploaded it. Take a look here, Tim. This is our local side. This is my computer. I uploaded that script via my FTP program to public 
HTML. That is the root directory for our server. And I create a new folder for scripts. And I just dropped it in there. That's it. Pretty simple. So what happens now, whenever somebody previews this, let's save the page. And we altered the script to send, as I said, the information to Krista's email. Um, I get a copy of all student emails here, so I'll, I'll just show you how this works. We're going to go up here. We're going to preview this now in our browser window. And we're going to take a look and see what it looks like. Now, there's our form. Pretty basic, but the guys can pretty up their forms and make it look a little bit better. I'm going to enter in my information. Sam Matero, tell me about yourself. I love anchovy pizza. pizza. Learn to spell. <laughs> there you go. Yeah! Love it! Okay. Yeah. Now, upon submit, Jimmy Crow, what's going to happen when I hit submit? It should go to your um, email account. I'm hoping well, it is. I'm hoping well, it is. You missed the link in the chain. I hit submit. The form knows what to do. The next step, before yeah. it comes to me via email, it's going where? Yeah. It's hitting the PHP script. Yep. So the form is passing the data that I just entered in to the PHP script, which is sitting where? It should be on the network. It's on, no, not on the network. On where it's on it? our server. I just showed you right here. Okay. Sitting on the server in our public HTML folder, scripts. So dmtstudio.net forward slash scripts, and that's the file. You guys following how this works, right? So what's going to happen? We're going to hit submit. Now, at, of course, Lightspeed's got us timed out here. This is our firewall system, and i got to go back and do it again. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the new firewall. Ah, well, when it's working. But it keeps timing out on us. So no, let's go you back. can even get on Wikipedia, and I need that for my English. Uh, I understand. Now, see what's happening here? It's saying it couldn't find this page. Look up here, Tim. This is saying RDS Network's confirmation page. Now, what that is, that is what we call a landing page. So what we would need to do to make the script work correctly, we would have to get into the PHP, alter the script, build a landing page. If it were AaronRunyon.com, uh, you would make a page that says, thank you so much for your submission. And then you tell the script, once the user submits their form, to land at that page. The free web script that we got that Krista downloaded off of the web had this URL already plugged in, and it's being blocked. So we would just alter that, create a new URL for our own landing page, which we'll show you down the road here. As I said, once the boys get through the Nocti, they're not going to have to do everything I'm showing you today for tomorrow. So we just need to validate it. Now, how do we validate it? You heard the little ding. I'll show you how the email came to me. Come over here. If I check and go to my remote teacher computer... With Facebook. And I go to Yep, with Facebook. We use we use <laughs> hey, you know, it's part of it's part of my it's part of my job here. I run the Facebook uh, for the school and uh, of course we plow through social networking, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. It's part of what we teach and how we promote our shop here too. So yes, I am on Facebook during the day. Um at the top uh, is K Fair. K Fair. And let's take a look. Now it blocked us. There it is. When I went back through and hit it twice more, it sent out new ones that were blank. So if you were the web administrator, this would be the report that you would get. The fields that were entered in, and I got right here. Sam Matero, tell us about you. I love anchovy pizza. Yeah, I love it. All right. Now, see this about you? This is how I have that field tagged and named in my form. So you can customize your output based on how you set the parameters here in your form as well. Pretty simple. So you can see here, the action is HTTP, dmtstudio.net forward slash scripts, send results PHP, and the action that we're using is post, and it's going to a blank page. So if we would want to alter that PHP script, let me go ahead and show you how we do that. We're going to go up into <coughs> open, 
And we are going to go to DMT. We are going to go to DMT website. And we're going to find that script. Send results script. And we're going to open that up in Dreamweaver. And then all we're going to do is you can see here, I'm going to send this to email ad. That was going to Chris Fair. I'm going to actually send this to saatero at jefftech.us. Now, what I'm going to do is right here, where to redirect after the form is processed. So the redirect is the user hits send, information's passed, then they get a response back that says, thank you for submitting right now. It's going to the RDS Networks confirmation. Let's do this. We'll go to our page here. And I'll DMT set it for dmtstudio.net, and I will find our login. Let's go to sign up for DMT, and of course, <coughs> I have to jump through the light speed <coughs> filter again. Oops. Sign up for DMT. There's our DMT page, filter. and there we go. So what I'm going to do is I will send people to our sign up page by copying and pasting this URL. And I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to copy and paste it in here within the quotes mark. Okay? And that's it. I'm going to hit save. Pretty simple. Altering a basic PHP script. So you can see what's happening. It's taking the results from the contact form. It's sending the results to my email. And then it's sending the user back to that particular page. Now, let me go ahead and save that. Go to my FTP program. I'm going to re-upload that script, and it's going to overwrite the old script. And, of course, I think, there we go, because the firewall filter blocked us before, I have to reopen my connection. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click and upload and overwrite that script. Bang, zoom. We should be good to go. Directory listing successful. We have success. Now, we're going to go back to that form, and I'm going to refill that form out. And we're going to say, Tim Abel, I love anchovy pizza. Two. Yeah. Two only has two O's. Dig it. It doesn't when we're, when we're talking about anchovy pizza, buddy. It actually has like 50,000 O's because anchovy pizza is so awesome. There you go. So we're going to hit submit. And what's it going to do, Jimmy Crow? It's going to go to the, hey, what's the name of that thing again? Starts with a P, it, ends with a P, has an H in it. <laughs> PHP, I guess. <laughs> Let's it goes try to, it again. It goes to the PHP. Submit. Here, maybe if you do it, it'll hit you. Hit the submit button. Not that button. Oh, you just told me hit there the you go. Button. Look, where did it land me? Oh, I took you to the uh, sign-up uh, page for the DMT website. Why did it take me to the sign-up page for the DMT website? Because you set the URL for that. Very easy, right? Copy and paste, simple function. That's how you alter a PHP server-side script to provide user interactivity for posting a form on the web. Pretty simple stuff. And there's dozens of different ways that you can use this and do this. This is just a free way that we found. Let's check my email. And we will validate that we got our email. Okay. Now, one of two things is happening here. I don't see the validation in my email box. So one of two things is happening. Either I typed it wrong in the script or we're just running into a delay because sometimes we do run into a delay on the server side. Saatero at jefftech.us. Everything is correct. Yep. Oh, there it is. We just ran into a little delay. Look at that. S.A. Tarot. Results from contact form. Tim Abel loves anchovy pizzas too. Yeah, dig it. There you go. Easy server-side script alteration for presentation of a form. Pretty cool. Okay, that's it. There's your tutorial for the day. Okay, go get the work.